now with our reporter Leanne Jansen, who's outside the Western Cape High Court. Uh, Leanne, of course, a judgment day. DeLille will know whether or not she remains a member of the party. It's a big day for Patricia DeLille and the Democratic Alliance today as a full bench of three judges will hand down their verdict with regard to Part B of DeLille's application before the Western Cape High Court, testing uh, the DA's procedures and the constitutional validity of, of the DA's federal constitution. I do have with me now the DA's Deputy Federal Chairperson, Natasha Mazzoni. Thank you so much for joining us. It's a big day for, for the party. What are your expectations ahead of judgment today? Well, I think it would be remiss of us to uh, presuppose what the judges have found. I'm certain it's going to be a very complex judgment because it's a very complex uh, issue that they're dealing with. Um, however, you know, regardless of what happens today, there are certain fundamental questions that still need to be answered. Issues such as uh, whether or not an SMS was sent to Councillor Limburg regarding uh, the appointment of a, you know, uh, the then city manager receiving a higher score, uh, the fact that whistleblowers were intimidated and uh, public publicly admonished for, for their actions. Um, I think the biggest thing for the Democratic Alliance is to make sure that service delivery remains our, our top priority. We don't believe that any one person or any party is bigger than the people of the city of Cape Town. This has been a very confusing time for many people in Cape Town and we want to assure the Cape Town public that uh, the DA will continue to provide excellent service delivery and uh, regardless of what happens today the city will continue to run and, and provide the excellent service to the residents who have voted us into government. Now when you and announced that um, Patricia DeLille's membership has ceased. You said that the allegations and the, the disciplinary hearing against the, all those have been rendered moot. Now the SMS and those allegations form part of that. Um, where, where to now? These are untested allegations. Well, I think that uh, what happens today will determine a lot of how we go forward. If uh, the cessation is upheld, then uh, Patricia Dillon is no longer a member of the DA. And then the city of Cape Town continues with their investigations that will remain ongoing. Uh, if uh, the, the court finds that the cessation uh, was not successful, then we carry on with our disciplinary procedures uh, as previously planned. Thank you so much for your time. At the same token, I have with me Cape Town Mayor yeah. Patricia DeLille. Madam Mayor, your response to Natasha Mazzoni? I think how arrogant and hypocritical can you be when tomorrow we're back in the High Court, but the DS refused to give us the evidence and the report of the Nation Commission. They have failed to give the court, they're actually in contempt of court, they failed to give us the Stena Hayson Commission report. They failed to give us a letter of J.P. Smith. And to come and stand here and say, oh, SMS, SMS, I've heard it all before. And that's why I've put my faith in the independence of the judiciary and the independence of the courts. I've always said I'm willing to subject myself to any due process. And I want that process to be open to the public, open to the media, and that has been refused. So don't come and stand here and pretend that you are the Democrats, but at the same time you're denying Patricia DeLille her rights. My fight is about the rights, and it's for the rights of the people of the city of Cape Town that I put first all the time. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really laughing. It's a joke. It's really a joke that you can try and play around with facts. It's like, you know, you're repeating the same lie all the time and hoping people will start believing it. So the challenge is there. Let's go to the DC, bring the evidence, bring the Stenation report tomorrow, and I'll be ready to subject myself to disciplinary hearing. So what happens if the three judges do not rule in your favor today? What is your next step? Well, my next step has always been that this is a fight for justice and for fairness. And I have always um, said to the people of South Africa, this is what we must never stop doing is to fight for fairness and justice. And I will take it to the Supreme Court of Appeal and I will take it to the Constitutional Court because this is about rights, rights that we fought for, human rights that we never had before. We never had an independent judiciary like we have before. And so I fought for those rights and I will claim those rights until the day I die. Thank you so much, Shahan. It seems the battle continues here today, um, but we'll have to hear from the three judges in the Western Cape High Court at 9.30 whether or not um, Mayor Patricia DeLille's cessation of membership of the Democratic Alliance still stands.